Hello internet. In this video, I want to talk about how I made these four box planters out of two pallets. Keep watching. Welcome to Scott's Garage. Welcome literally to my garage. Whether it's working on a car, a daily driver or a project car, or a project around the yard or a home improvement project, all of my do-it-yourself projects begin here in my garage. Scott's Garage is a place for do-it-yourselfers. Welcome to my channel. So I had a couple of pallets, wooden pallets in the backyard for about a year, uh, just taking up space. My wife asked me if I could make some box flower pots. I said, sure, and decided to repurpose the pallets uh, to do this. So two different pallets, one was in better shape than the other. Uh, the one on the left was made from the pallet that was in better shape. Here it is right here from a previous video. By the way, you can see a completely separate video from start to finish how I made that larger planter box. So click on the link above. It's basically a three gallon planter, meaning if you buy a, a plant like this hibiscus in a three gallon container, it'll fit nicely. Let's move on now to the three smaller planters. There are one gallon planters. They were a separate pallet, a pallet that was a, a lot worse shape than the first one. The panels going across were different sizes. So therefore I made layers that were different sizes. And if you want to see the, the rest of the construction of these uh, three smaller planters, uh, keep watching. Okay, here's the pallet that I use for the three small planters. And it's a, it's a large pallet, a little bit over four feet. The other pallet that I used was slightly less than four feet. And if you notice as well that there are four of the riser pieces and the wood itself is rougher and the they're the, the different varying widths as well. You know, I've tried to take pallets apart before and the nails are incredibly strong. Nails in pallets were not meant to be pried out and removed. And so I've given up on it and said, I'm going to use my table saw and I'm simply going to you know, set the blade up um, high enough to just cut along each of these riser pieces on, on both sides. And we'll have some usable portions then of, of the panels uh, to use. And I'll do that on, on both sides. Okay, so here's what you should have then. Uh, you have these kind of pieces here, jagged edges and stuff. We'll be knocking those off because we'll be using all that except for the the cut off uh, sort pieces and then uh, here um, now these are square cuts yet but we'll make them completely square here um, as we go Okay, so we have a strip to this point. We have four of the, whatever you want to call them. Those are like one by threes. And then you have these half inch by various sizes. So that's what it looks like now. What we're going to do next is we're going to pull the nails. I have an old craftsman workbench. Works, works well, clean, big vice, better than a vice. And I put these risers in there and secure it. And I can pull now the nails, a uh, combination of the crowbar, crowbars, the hammer, and then the big pliers. Uh, the heads sometimes just crumble when you use the crowbar and you have to use the pliers to, to take care of it. But, it. but it works well. It's really the only way to go. Um, don't try to fight these nails, otherwise they are not meant to come out. Okay, so here is what the pallet reduces down into. So the longer pieces were those four riser pieces. And I, I, I cleaned up the edges and then I ripped them in two. Uh, so I have um, eight sticks there, they're, they're longer. And, and then the, um, the other portions, I cut into three different uh, widths. Uh, some, of the, some of the boards were, just needed to be cut down because they were imperfect. And anyway, uh, it's just how, how it turned out. Uh, these, are, these are the worst ones, so these are, these will become the base of the planters. So I just set those aside. And so basically, 
Um, I have uh, 12 of each size. And when I, there'll be, I'll build three planters um, and basically um, 12 of each size that uh, there'll be three tiers of, of different heights uh, for each of the planters. And then for, for these pieces, uh, basically I'm gonna take four of them, I'm gonna cut them into thirds. They will become the legs. And then the other four uh, will become the, the tops of, of each of these um, planters. Okay, next I put a round over edge bit on my router and I'll be routing the, the longer edges of all these pieces here and you know just uh, putting a nice fresh cut on these edges and then when you stack the the, the boards together you'll see that nice clean cut um, on each level and I just love the look of the you know the old boards uh, with the fresh cut okay hey, what I'm going to do now is make some half lap joints in, in all of these side panels. And so for, for the three different sizes, excuse me, three different sizes, this one, this one, and this one, um, the key is uh, all, the, all the boards are 5 8 inch thick. You find the exact center point for each board, whatever that measurement is for you, uh, 5 8 and then over, and then do kitty corner. So I have that marked off. And then likewise, for, for each size, you do the same thing. And I'll be using my table saw and I'll be making, um, setting the blade five eighths high and you know, using the gate and, you know, cutting them um, the, the right way this way. And then I will uh, set the, the blade higher and likewise I'll be coming in uh, this direction and, you know, for each of these, whatever height uh, it is for each specific board. Here I'm using my Harbor Freight Brad Nailer gun, little air gun, and simply assembling uh, each of the levels using glue as well, and just each level uh, putting it together. And I'll be using the same uh, Brad gun here in assembling um, each one uh, to the legs. So again, each level, you just uh, Brad nail it uh, to the legs, and I did it for all three. Okay, I got everything done except for the cover for each of these and also the bottom. And I'll work on the cover now. I'll use the remaining uh, 12 sticks here. And likewise, I'm going to do a half lap um, 90. Uh, it's going to overhang just a little bit around the edges. Okay, here's the finished product. I lost some video, so I'm just going to have to tell you what I did. First of all, I changed the tops. I was not satisfied with the narrow pieces for the top. So I had some other uh, spare pieces of wood. I used that instead, a little bit wider. Um, I, I went ahead and um, did the, the half lap, as you can see here, uh, for the tops. And the tops can come off. So if you put a, a plant in there without you know, using soil in the planter, you can take the tops off if you so need to. And here's how I did the bottoms. So I, I simply took a jigsaw and I cut the corners out uh, of the, the older, the, the wood that was less desirable. And simply, um, I used the brad gun again on this lower level, simply put the boards in place and then shot some brads in uh, all the way around on the sides. And these are smaller planters. These are basically four quart planters or one gallon. If you buy one gallon plants at the store, they'll fit in here nicely and they'll work uh, really well. Um, now, if you got any value from this video, please hit like, it costs you nothing. It was a great value to me. Also, at the time of this recording, I have about 2,400 subscribers. When I reach 5,000, it's time to celebrate uh, with a $50 gift card giveaway. And all you need to do to qualify for this is hit the like button and leave a comment. That's all you need to do. I'm going to do a random number generator to pick a video and then also to pick a comment. And you have a great chance of winning. Give it a try. Have a great day. Thank you.